We're given a triangle ABC. Let me go ahead and draw that. So I'm going to put A here and B here and C here, which forces the angles. Remember, the angles go opposite the letter, the sides with the same letter. And we're given that A equals 3, B equals 4, and angle C measures 60 degrees. And we want to first of all determine how many triangles satisfy these conditions, and then we want to solve the triangles completely. So to answer the first question, we have a side angle side situation. And so what we know is that side angle side always has a unique solution, assuming the angle is less than 180. So in this case, the angle is 60, which is less than 180. So there's a unique solution. There's exactly one triangle satisfying these conditions. So that answers the first question, how many triangles satisfy those conditions? Exactly one. But now we have to solve the triangle completely, and this is where the law of cosines is going to be useful. So let me copy down the law of cosines. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of capital C. And this is very useful because we know uh, A and B and capital C. So I can just plug all those in and solve for little c. So let me do that. A squared would be 9. B squared would be 16 because 4 squared is 16. Minus 2 times 3 times 4. 2 times 3 times 4 is 24 cosine of 60 degrees. So this is 25 minus 24. Now cosine of 60 degrees, that's one of my common values. That's pi over 3. And I remember that the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. So this is 25 minus 24 times a half. 25 minus 12. So c squared is 13, and so c is equal to the square root of 13. And I can get an approximation for that on my calculator. That's about 3.61. So that's approximately equal to 3.61. So I'll fill that in on my triangle. So now I've got the third side of the triangle. The only thing that's left is it says to solve the triangles completely. So I need to find the, ang the other two angles, A and B. And to do that, I'm going to use the law of sines. So let me write down the law of sines to refresh your memory. Sine of capital A over side A is equal to sine, I'm going to use capital C over side C. And so I know what side A, side C, and uh, capital C are. So I'm going to cross multiply this, and I get C sine A equals A sine C. I'll fill in the values that I know. I know A is, uh, little a is 3. Sine of C is sine of 60. Sine of A, I don't know that yet. And little c, I figured out, is 3.61. And so I'm solving for sine A. That's 3 times sine of 60 divided by 3.61. So I'll just work that out on my calculator. And what I get is approximately 0 0.72. By the way, it's very important that your calculator be in degree mode if you're using degrees here. So I gave uh, angle C as 60 degrees. So it's very important that you set your calculator to degree mode. If your calculator's in radian mode, 
then it will interpret that 60 as a radian measure, and so your answer will be way off. So set your calculator to be in degrees before you try this calculation. And so A is arc sine or inverse sine of 0 0.72. So I'll work that out on my calculator. And it, that tells me that A is just about 46.0 degrees. So now I've got a, me a measure for angle A. I'm going to use the law of sines to find a measure for angle B, but I need a little more space. So let me redraw my triangle. We've got um, whoops, A, B, and C, A, B, and C. And I figured out that C was 3.61. A was given as 3, B was given as 4, C was given as 60. And I figured out that A was 46 degrees. So I'm just trying to find the measure of angle B now. And I'm going to use, again, the law of sines. Sine of B over side B is equal to sine, I'll use C again, sine of C over little c. And I'll fill in what I know here. Uh, I know that little b is 4. Sine of capital B, I don't know. And sine of capital C is sine of 60. And little c, we figured out, is 3.61. So I'll cross multiply that, 3.61. Sine of capital B is equal to 4 sine 60. And so sine of capital B, that's what we're solving for, is equal to 4 sine 60 divided by 3.61. So let me work that out on my calculator. 4 sine 60 divided by 3.61 is 0 0.96. 0 0.96, 0.96. And so B is arc sine of 0 0.96. And I'll work that out. That's 73. Point, just about 74 degrees. Rounds to 74 degrees. So now I've figured out angle B, 74 degrees. And so now I've solved for all three sides of the triangle and all three angles of the triangle. It's nice at this point, even though we're done with the problem, to get some kind of check because we've done lots of calculations here. We could have made a mistake. What I'm going to do is add up all three angles of the triangle and make sure that they come out to be 180 degrees. So as a check on my work here, I'll add up 60 plus 46 plus 74. And that does indeed come out to be 180 degrees. And so that suggests that we probably didn't make a mistake in solving all those angles. So just to recap this problem here, we were given a side angle side situation. That's a definite tip off that you're going to be using the law of cosines. So I filled in my side, the included angle, and a side. And then the first thing I did was I used the law of cosines to find the missing side. The law of cosines to find the missing side. To solve the triangle completely, I still had two angles that I didn't know. So I used the law of sines after that to find the two angles that I didn't know based on knowing the other sides and the other side and angle. So let's try another one now.